Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So recently I posted a five minute painting challenge video with a little cow and it was actually really popular. A lot of you really liked that challenge. So we're gonna do it again. Today we're gonna paint a little mouse in five minutes. I'm gonna set my timer on my phone and we'll just see how it goes. So let's give it a try. Now, paper quality is really important when you're doing this project. So really quick, I wanna show you the paper I'm using. This is Fabriano Artistico 140 pound cold pressed cotton watercolor paper. Cotton is important. If you're using something that is made from wood pulp, it's just not gonna hold up as well with the technique that we're gonna to use today. And that is the wet and wet technique. For this painting, I'm not gonna do any drawing first. Don't let that terrify you. <laughs> All you really need to know are places in the painting where you're gonna have harder edges versus softer edges. And I'll provide the reference photo in the description below, by the way, so you guys can follow along and paint with me. So if you haven't already done so, download that right now. And you can see in the reference photo that the little mouse has a little black eye. He's facing the left. He's got these little legs but the rest of him is just kind of this round fluffy shape. So that's where the wet and wet technique comes in. And this is how we can accomplish a really lovely painting, hopefully in five minutes. Without further ado, let's get started. I am going to set my timer right now. Okay, grab some clean water and paint a large circular shape with your water. This is going to be the little mouse's body. Do the same thing for the head, except on the head, paint around a dry section. That's gonna be the eye. You might have to look at your paper a little bit off-centered, just so you can see where that dry patch of paper is. And that's where the little mouse's eyes are gonna go. And don't paint water over the ears. Okay, but extend your water a little beyond where the body's gonna go. Now, grab some brown, it can be any brown and mix in a little bit of blue, and that'll create kind of this neutral brown, and then start to paint the top of the body. Just create a quick circle shape for that little brown mouse. Notice how quickly I'm painting, I'm working against the clock here, so working fast. Then for the head, I'm drawing with my paint the top of the head, wrapping my paint around that little eye, dipping in the water just slightly so I can have more watered down paint where I see lighter paint or lighter colors in the reference photo, painting tiny little marks for where the whiskers are gonna go. And since we didn't wet this area, we can paint those ears wet on dry. So just do a quick swooping motion for the top of the ear and do the same thing for the other side. Quick swooping motion like that. And then the little nose almost looks like a bunny, doesn't he? We'll fix that in a minute. Okay, grab a little bit of blue. I'm using ultramarine blue mixed with the brown that's already in your brush. And you can paint the inner ear. When you're painting fast, you have to prioritize. So what I'm prioritizing are my values, darks and lights, and just basic colors and shapes. Now I'm gonna use that gray, paint right on the underside of our little mouse up to where his foot's gonna go, and then a hard line showing the bottom of his foot and the little tail, and another hard line where the paper is dry. That's important, otherwise it'll all wash away just like that fur did, wet and wet. Now for the eye, I'm taking indigo or you can use black, just use a dark color. Try not to touch your wet paint. Paint inside of your circle that you preserve with the dry paper. And avoid the highlight in the middle. You do have to kind of slow down for this part. All the while watching your timer. Woo, now look what happened. I touched my wet paint and I just told you guys not to do that. It's okay, scoop it right back out with the thirsty brush, like so. All is not lost. I'm gonna take some more of that indigo and 
paint those little lines where his whiskers are growing from. Tiny bit of brown. Notice I'm spending more time on his face. That's because his head, his face, that's the focal point. That's where you want your viewer's eyes to be drawn. I'm gonna take some more of that brown and just start to boost the color here and there. Okay guys, we have a minute left. Can we do this? I think we can. Taking some more brown, darkening the brown in his fur. Already you can see that that wet shape that we painted dried super fast. I live in a really dry climate. But now what I'm doing is I'm just using that to my advantage and taking this paint and using the dry brush effect across the surface of the paper. And then for the last thing before I run out of time, I'm just gonna paint a couple little whiskers. Like that. And a little shadow under his body. And five minutes, we did it. <laughs> Woo, what a sprint. That was a quick run to get this little mouse down. But guess what guys, it looks like a mouse. I'm actually really happy with that. <laughs> so if you're feeling up to it, I want you guys to try this challenge. You can use any simple shapes or pictures. Simpler is definitely better when you're doing something in just five minutes, but it's really such a good exercise because it totally forces you to prioritize what you're gonna spend your time on and to be strategic about how to get those shapes and colors down as quickly as possible while also looking realistic. So there we go. There's our finished little mouse five minute painting. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.